Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright, flying effect. Got a lot to talk about. Let's just jump right off into it, alright? First and foremost, you need to have your green screen set up with the right lights. First and foremost, you need to have your front lights on your talent. And then you need to have your green screen set up with two lights on there. Make sure you have a uh, diffuser boxes on there so that your key comes out correct, baby. Last thing you need is you need to have some sort of chair or stool or something that you can also wrap up nice and tight in another green screen. All right. So those are the things you need to do for your green screen key. Let's move on to the rest of the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my clouds down into the timeline track here. You see, you got some beautiful clouds going forward. It's really important for you to get the right perspective on your clouds. So these clouds are going in a direction away from the screen. So I want my talent coming towards the screen. If the clouds are going diagonally this way and coming down this way, then I would want my talent going up that way. So be careful when you do your takes to make sure that your talent is in the right perspective. Move your camera where it needs to be. Turn your talent how it needs to be turned so that they match up with the clouds. You want to get your cloud footage first so you know how to shoot your green screen footage. All right. So now I'm going to drag my green screen footage down, left click on it and drag it down into the track right above the clouds. Now that I have that down here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little cloud footage and I'm going to drag it. You see when I click on it, the playhead goes right to the front of it. So I'm going to drag this to a position where the talent starts to be in uh, flight mode or pretending to fly. And I think that's pretty good right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the clip above it. And I'm going to click on And You know what? Yeah, I'm going to click on split. Let's just go ahead and split it. I'm going to click on this front end here. I'm going to right click on it. And go to delete. So now I know that my front end matches up. So I'm going to drag my playhead now to a position where the talent stops flying and gets off the chair. I think that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to split both of these. I'm just going to click away and then if I hit split, it'll split both of them. And they're both selected now, so I'm just going to hit delete. This time, I'm just going to use a trash can. And those suckers are gone. Adios, amigos. All right, so now I got my footage set up how I want it to be. Got the right perspective. Got the clouds going this way. Guy facing forward away from the cloud, the, the way the clouds are going. So now we got to do some effects. So I'm going to right click on the green screen footage on the top track. I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. <clears throat> there are a few things we're going to do here, so keep up. First thing I'm going to do is go to Keyers. And I'm going to go to Studio Chroma Key. 
what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to my settings. And I'm first and foremost going to take my softness. I'm going to drag it all the way down so that it's all the same color. So now it's all the same black. So all of this will be gone. Now, what I want to do now is go to the solo button down here with the arrow. Click on that and go to show media and tracks below. What that's going to do is going to show that and the clouds. So now I got my pretty little clouds and I'm flying away. I'm flying. Okay, anyway, I uh, just made that up. Anybody, you know, check that out on iTunes. It'll be available tomorrow. So next thing you want to do is you want to crop all the crap out. Crop out the crap. Crop out the crap. Crop, crop, crap, crap, crop out the crap with 2D, 3D. So I'm going to go to 2D, 3D. I'm going to go to 2D Editor Advanced. I'm going to change it from default to no preset. And I'm just going to go straight down to cropping. I'm going to crop out the left. Crop out the right. All right, we're good to go with that. Now, another thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead to the beginning. Here. It's while I'm in 2D, 3D. Now that I have my left and right cropped out, what I'm going to do is add some movement because... The guy was just in a chair, just sitting there. So if I play this, pretty boring. He's just sitting there, flying along, ain't going nowhere, just real still. Don't even look right. Looks all right, but not the way I want it to. If you want to leave it like that, stop here. I'm not going to leave it like that. So I'm going to go to position. I'm going to turn my keyframes on by clicking on the little diamond here. And now I'm going to just move the guy around a little, you know. So, matter of fact, on the first keyframe, we'll leave him at zero. And then we'll bring it up. I'm going to click on the timeline here. We're going to also leave that at zero. We're just going to click on add a keyframe. And it'll add one there. Now I'm going to start adding some movement. So, we'll make little subtle movements from spot to spot. Move your playhead forward again. Move the guy over a few little places here and there. And you can do this however you want. It's really up to you. I mean, this is the way I want to do it. So this is how I'm going to do it. And now at the end, what I want to do is kind of have to do zoom off the screen. So I'm going to bring them way up here to the top. And then I'm going to add a keyframe kind of close to this one. And I'm going to bring the horizontal all the way. Well, let's bring the vertical all the way down first. Then I'm going to bring my horizontal all the way over this way. And what's going to happen, he's just going to shoot off the screen when he goes that way. And then we just want to make sure that we have... Uh, Last keyframe at the end. We want to add a keyframe here. We want to right click on it. Let's right click on this one and we'll do copy keyframe. And then we'll click right here. We'll do paste keyframe just to make sure. Looks like it's off anyway, but I like to be sure. So now if I play this back. You'll see guys kind of moving around and stuff. Another good thing you could do, if I go back to the first keyframe, he's like right there in the middle and he's going to come on the screen like that. What I could do is I could change the size of this first keyframe down to zero. And then what will happen is as he comes to this first keyframe, he'll speed in off the screen. And he's going to go kind of slow right now because... This keyframe is far from that one, these two. So he's going to come in kind of slow. There we go. At least compared to how fast he's going to zoom off the screen. It's about to see in a second. Go on.
All right, smooth, like that. Now, we're done with that. So what I want to do is add a little bit of things to make it look a little bit more uh, like there's a movement going on. So I'm going to go to camera. And I'm going to go to earthquake. And we just want to add a little bit of shake to this guy. So we're going to go to settings. And we're going to change the intensity. I'm going to click on it until it turns blue to 0 0.1. And I'm going to change my shake speed to 0 0.3. Once again, this is all up to you. You do it how you want to do it. But now, you'll see a little bit of shake going on as well. Doesn't look as good yet because it still needs to render and stuff. But you'll see a little shake going on with that. So that's cool. Last but not least, I'm going to go back to camera again. And I'm going to add a little bit of blur to this. Once again, I don't want them looking so, you know, I guess what the word would be for is kind of uh, stuck there, you know. I want them to look, have a little bit of blur like his movement. I'm just going to leave the blur at two for horizontal and vertical. I'm not going to do anything to it. Now, I'm done with all my effects, so I'm going to click OK. Now, you can add, you know, a little sunlight, uh, whatever you want to it. It's up to you if you want to do that stuff. You can also add the sound effects. I did the sound effect of an airplane on mine. Got that from uh, Digital Juice uh, Sound Effects. And um, let's see, the clouds. I also got those from Digital Juice Video Tracks. So you can get all these things from those places. If you want some more information on Chroma Key or how to do a green screen, watch the video that I got on that and if you want to know how to like take off and land for your flying watch the Hancock effect got that on here it's in the video description as well check those videos out they will help you a lot to put together a great flying effect from start to finish alright guys you know the routine yes it's that time once again you know it don't blow it the thumb the one that's pointed in the upward direction Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it, just hug it, all right, comments, leave me your comments, I always get back to you, if I can't help you myself, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the help you need, and last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Y'all know the routine, subscribe, it's what you're supposed to do, alright, sub it up baby, sub it up, thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon. <laughs>